We humans have come a long way, traveling our world in search of new lands, spreading to every corner of the globe. But the time has come to look to new destinations, to go once more into the unknown. This is the story of our journey in space. We will fly to the stars on a ship that sails on sunlight. We'll explore the most distant edges of the cosmos by taking a roller coaster ride through the very fabric of our universe. will discover the machine that has charted the heavens as never before. It's the voyage of a lifetime, a voyage to our future in space. We've always had the urge to explore. Our ancestors journeyed into the unknown to discover new lands, and now it's time to do it again. But this time, it's not a voyage between continents. This time, it's a voyage to the stars. As our telescopes get ever more powerful, they have shown us a universe of unimaginable beauty and power. Vast clouds where new stars are born. Strange galaxies. Even tantalizing hints of new worlds. But they've also shown dangers. Disasters so huge they could destroy the Earth in seconds. Space is full of terrors and wonders. But will we ever see them for ourselves? We have a dog. It's less than 50 years since we took our first steps out into space. Since then, thousands of rockets carrying hundreds of people have made the 10-minute flight into orbit. Astronaut Story Musgrave is one of a new breed of space adventurers. When you see a launch from the outside, it's a rather glorious, magnificent thing. Inside, it's the absolute opposite of that. It's 137 decibels. It's shaking. Everything is shaking. You have the solid rocket boosters that are really pounding the vehicle and all. And then you have the turbulence in the atmosphere that adds another shake, rattle, and roll. And so you're basically in a small closet here with belts and straps and helmets and gloves and parachutes, survival gear, and you got all of this. It is all over you, and at the same time, you're being shook. And it can't help but pass through your mind. You just want the whole stack to hold together.
You're along for the ride and you want to survive that. So it's not a joy ride for me. It's what I need to go through to get into the incredible serenity and the celestial dance of, of zero gravity. Hello, Houston. We are inspired. We are ready. Let's go fix this thing. We are becoming a race of spacefarers. It's a strange and unfamiliar world. But for the privileged few who go there, it is an experience they can never forget. Spacewalking is much more like a dance than anything else. You choreograph every move. You choreograph every finger, every toe, every body position, and how you're going to do all of that. It's just as precise as a ballet. Going into space, it's opening night at the ballet. During a spacewalk, I love to look at my feet. You see your boots going 18,000 miles an hour, 25,000 feet per second. You see your boots going down the road. <laughs> if you ever want to play Superman, uh, that's where to do it. We stand on the edge of space. Our most ambitious project is testament to what we have achieved, the International Space Station Freedom. but it's surprisingly close to home. It's floating less than 400 kilometers above our heads. The furthest we've traveled into space is this. In 1969, we set foot on the moon. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. For the first time ever, we looked back at our home from the surface of another world. It's amazing to think that people have actually walked up there. The trouble is, it may have been a giant leap for us, but in the vastness of space, it really was just one small step. Although we humans haven't reached any further than the moon, our robot ambassadors are already reaching for the stars. Where we cannot go, we have sent machines. This is the Voyager probe. Nothing we've ever created has traveled so far from Earth. It's now left our solar system on its way to the stars. Look at how far it's gone. Voyager left Earth in 1976. It passed Jupiter, then Saturn, and now it has left all the planets far behind. After decades in space, it's 14 billion kilometers from Earth. It's an impressive journey, until you consider this. On this scale, the nearest star to our solar system is way over there. In fact, it's over 100 kilometers away. To reach it would take Voyager another 25,000 years. And Voyager's 